didn't sweep here. Did the dog just- what? Oh, we're- we're done. At least the credits. It's really the end. I can't believe she's still here. I'm so happy and I guess this is the best way they could have ended her story. Yeah, she won't be the one in charge anymore. But she's still alive. And they're still together. Okay, okay, in you go. Oh my god. That looks like it tastes bad. I won't lick it. <laughs> the dog. I won't. <laughs> the hell? What the fur? That was like the... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, at least there's still the ability to find joy. I don't know how this works. This seems like really hard drawing. Yeah, it is. I'll ask Clem later. I'm glad we left it on that, though. Why did Clem collect so many skulls? I don't know. She's a weirdo, but she's my weirdo. A weirdo and a goofball. Lewis explained how this works, but it still seems like magic. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Just bark. Good night. Go, Erickson. I still don't know why you say that. Huh. I know we didn't get all the collectibles, but I wonder if you're hungry for bugs. Is there a bug for us to feed it? We got another one of these. Did we get all the vegetable hey there, pals? Alvin Jr. You ready to rock? Oh goody. <laughs> I even place it nicely. Beat Nick. <laughs> Still don't get it, do you? You're so cool, Disco Broccoli. Like the coolest. Even if I could eat you, I wouldn't do He's it. He's so cool that we could examine You're him twice. Cool. What's with Disco Broccoli? Clem never explained what is Disco. Why? Well, I'm just getting myself hungry. Is there gonna be a Randy Tudor thing at the end of this? Closer. Can you see through those? Oh, please start they talking like to me. Glasses, please, I beg of you. Like bad. I bet you've seen a lot of things, huh? I'm gonna keep examining it until it tells me to stop. Oh, come on, AJ. It's gonna move. I, it's gonna move. I've seen God darn it. People wouldn't believe. Toy airplanes on fire off the shoulder of McCurl Ranch. I watched canned beans glitter in the dark near that one train station with a dead couple Clem tried to guilt me about. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in Omar's stew. That's poetic. Time to die, Marlin. 
我还。You okay, kid? Why are we staring at this bro? I don't get it. That wasn't even. It didn't even end on a funny note. What? It, what? Can someone explain this to me? Okay, now I'm not sad anymore. I'm just confused as heck. Here's the crystal. Looking. I wonder if it has magic powers. Gonna bring the broccoli to life. Nah. That was so stinking weird. What the fruit? <laughs> oh, it's, it's drawing. It's too bad he won't be able to draw another one. I hope you have extra crayons wherever you are, Tin. Hmm. You know what? I'm a great artist. <laughs> if you say so. Oh, great. Oh my god. Anything else to examine? Kinda wish we had all the collectibles, but then it wouldn't be a blind LP, would it? Um, place the hat soon. There's nothing else for us, right? I can't leave with it. I wanted him to put it on. I don't want it to be in the room. Okay then. I guess this is just going to stand as a reminder of the incredible, absolutely incredible Inspiring, dedicated, and absolutely the most strongest person we've ever met. This will serve as a reminder of the fact that we were fortunate enough to meet such an incredible woman and watch her grow, go through so much and change so many lives for the better. Thank you so much for everything, Clementine. Is the Walking Dead. You and 59% of players trusted AJ to make his own decisions. 41% of players told AJ he wasn't ready to make his own decisions. Fifteen percent of players let Lewis decide on the last flourish of his imaginary house. 30% of players decided to add a skylight to his house. I was about to say that. That might have been a good one because like, that's what he said he wanted, but I, I felt like that was a given that we'd, that we'd get a skylight. 31% of players decided to add a tree house to Lewis's imaginary house. And 15% of players decided to add a statue of yourself to Lewis's imaginary house. Okay. 57% of players asked AJ to kill you rather than let you become a walker. 43% of players asked AJ to leave you and let you become a walker. It's a bit less even than before. I believe it was 55% for Lee. But it's still a horrible, horrible choice. But is the outcome the same? Even if you leave her? Does he still disobey, and he still cuts your leg off? 
I don't know. I have no idea. And I just keep asking myself because it got brought up multiple times throughout the series. That people could survive after a bite if you cut it off quick enough. We did that for Lee in season one. Could he have shown up right, right when Lewis said that they were going to look for a settlement? Like there was a settlement nearby of survivors? I seriously thought AJ was going to wear that hat, Clementine's hat. He would go out and he would see who these people are and among them it would be Lee. I was, I was seriously expecting that to be the end right there, us meeting these people. And... Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. We couldn't have made it this far without sacrifices, but... The fact that she's still with us... I guess serves as a reminder that everything that he sacrificed, that everyone sacrificed, wasn't in vain. Because she's still here. And we're still together. 29% of players spared 10 after he became a walker. 71% of players shot 10 after he became a walker. Something James would have preferred maybe, but... 10 seemed to have been in that mindset as well, thinking that there was something more to them. I really don't know, but... Maybe, just maybe, there's something beyond this life, and in due time, we'll all be reunited and rewarded for all that we went through. Just four choices for the final episode of the final season. There isn't five big ones. Well, one of them isn't even all that big. It's kind of wimpy, but whatever. You and 43% of players left James feeling conflicted. James was thankful that you respected his beliefs and spared the walkers. James felt elated when you said there might be more to walkers. James was relieved when you said you wouldn't let AJ become a killer. My biggest complaint of this episode was him. I don't like how that ended up. I don't like ending on that sour note with him and he didn't show up in the end either so he either is dead or he doesn't want anything to do, to do with us I wish it wasn't like that but I appreciate getting to know you and to learn from you and as long as I'm still breathing I promise I'll do everything I can to make sure that these two turn out okay Violet, you in 100? Are you- what? You in 100% of players left Violet feeling shaken. How is that possible? At first I thought it said like 160, like did it glitch? But all still, did it glitch? Is that even possible? Is there like no other option or... Shaken. Not stirred? Violet was disappointed that you chose to spend time with Lewis instead of her. She fell into a rage after her capture. She was grief-stricken about 10. I'm just... My god, after everything you went through and all that you lost... I'm grateful that you're still here with us and... That we could move on from this. I'm truly, truly glad you're safe. I'm sorry I couldn't do more, but I hope you're okay with what we were able to, to accomplish. Lily. I like how the music stops as soon as we get to her. I kind of wish it gave you the percentage. Well, I guess it gave you the percentage of the last episode of how many people killed her. But, my god, would she be alive in this final episode? I don't know. If, if James isn't here... In the end, and there's no way Lily's gonna be with us in the end. Maybe we would have had like a talk with her in the end. We could have had like a resolution or something. 
I don't know, it's probably not anything phenomenal. Unless you're just- unless you just really like this character and you're really holding out for something. I have no idea, but... Whatever. She's gone. Everyone from our past is gone, except... People that I thought would appear in the end. Lee, I was- I was holding out for Lee until the last second, until the very, very end. It didn't happen, unfortunately, but... The fact that she survived... There's still hope? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe she didn't listen to Lee either back then and she didn't shoot him. I don't know. But I, I guess the fact that he isn't here gives us our answer. Anyone else from our original group? Glenn was someone that we met in episode 1 of season 1. He is a character from the show though and he just sort of had a cameo and then he left. Because you can't really have him be part of the game story and the movie and not movie, the TV show and comic book story at the same time. We had Krista, who I genuinely sad about never seeing again. I'm still upset with how that was handled and I wish we got to reunite with her at some point, but we never did. In season two, everyone died pretty much except for Mike, Bonnie, and Arvo, but those aren't exactly people I want to see ever again. They're the only ones left from, from that group. Season 3. The Garcia family. Not the best of people at times, but they're good to us. If we ever see them again, I'd be relieved to see that kind of a familiar face. Especially with how we left it off with them. And... We promised Javi we would bring bring AJ back one day and teach him how to play baseball. So maybe one day we will see him again. As for season four, he lost a lot of incredible people along the way. This was an incredible group. And like Clem said, it feels like home. I'm glad she finally found that. And I'm sorry I had to have this big emotional talk while staring at L Lily's corpse the entire time. Moving on. Oh my- pff, not any better. Ten is dead. Oh my god. It was either Ten or Lewis in that situation, wasn't it? I w oh my god, I would've been heartbroken if Lewis was gone. Ten was happy you let him draw you in his picture of the afterlife. He was bitter when you called Marlin a coward. Ten felt hopeful after sharing his belief that the Walker Age will end someday. I sincerely hope that. And I sincerely hope that... You might be somewhere better than we are right now. Just like you wanted. And just like your sisters wanted. I'm so sorry. Lewis. EIGHT PERCENT?! What's wrong with you people?! Really?! How do you- Jesus Christ! EIGHT PERCENT?! I'm glad we re we resolved it finally, cause like he was heartbroken in the first three stinking episodes. EIGHT PERCENT?! Are you kidding me?! Look at that smile! Look at that- Pose! Look at that hair! The dreads! How could you not love him? Oh my god. It's either Lewis or Violet. 92 per- well, you don't have to be in a relationship with either of them, I guess, but... Nine- let's just assume 92% of people went with Violet. Really? And like, I felt bad about it the entire time. Like, I genuinely felt bad about abandoning her like that, so... I don't know, I liked Violet as well, like, we were good from the start, but then Lewis is, like, someone that I personally like, not really Clem, but, like, Violet was someone who always looked out for us and everything like that, I don't know, it was just... 8%? Really? 
Lewis was astonished when you confessed you had feelings for him. He was racked by guilt when the Raiders captured Violet. Lewis was calmed when you were sympathetic to his story about how he was sent to Erickson. Ten's death has left him feeling devastated. But he feels loved. Oh my god. I don't know, whatever. Clem's alive. We have the best boyfriend in the universe. And the best boy in the universe. And oh, we could have taken James's mask. How and when? We couldn't walk in the cave. And that half skull, I don't even want to know whose that is. Okay, we got the, the final broccoli pal and the crystal, but James's mask. Maybe w it was like around the shore, like when... I don't know, because he l took it off in the cave. Maybe he would have given it to us if we didn't kill Lily, or if we worded something differently. I don't know. Because we couldn't walk in that cave where we like took a break after he took it off. We couldn't pick it up. And that final skull, I don't know why that's the final treasure, but it's something. What Clem taught me. The first thing you do when you enter a new place is to check all the windows. Always save the last bullet for yourself. When you have to apologize, be as honest as you can, even if it's really hard. Try not to burp or fart at dinner, but sometimes you could if you think it's funny. Yeah. It's not nice to take other people's stuff. If people try to steal from you, it's okay to try and kill them. What? What? Wait, what? If people try to steal from you, it's okay to try and kill them. Did I teach him that? Uh, okay. Sleeping in a bed is way better than sleeping on the ground. I was wrong to kill Marlin because he wasn't a threat when I shot him, but Lily wasn't a threat when I shot her, and that was okay. It gets confusing. Yeah, it's really confusing. If you have... To atone something, it's hard, but people will forgive you. Whenever you're scared, just remember to breathe. If I had a dime, and even more, the monsters won't be here forever. Killing is never easy or fun, so take it seriously. Sometimes torturing people is okay, I guess. No, no. I shouldn't have tortured Abel like that. Like, compared to what I've seen Michonne do in the past when torturing someone, like, that was nothing. It was just like little desk slam. It wasn't terrible. No. Doctors can help you with trauma, but I think they're all dead. <laughs> there might still be people inside of Walkers, but we don't know that for sure. You can be happy or you could be rich. You can't be both. I didn't teach her that. Lewis did. Growing up too fast can make you seem scary, but people still have to trust you to make this hard calls. And the hard calls are always unfair. They certainly are. My choices? What does yellow and red mean? Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, so these are the two ways it could have gone. Oh, crawling through the booth. I thought there was ten down there, so either kill the walkers or find another way in. Uh, go with Lewis or go with Violet. Push him out the window or don't. Ask for Violet's help, ask for Lewis's help. Episode two. Of... Uh, tell uh, AJ what he did to Marlon was okay or not. I think that's what it is. Uh, help R Ruby bury uh, her teacher or burn him like what Mitch wanted. Was it Mitch who was with us? I think so. Um, either spend time with Violet, romance Violet, or spend time with Lewis and romance Lewis. 
kind of weird that they don't give us percentages for this, but whatever. But I guess we know what they are. And then save Lewis or save Violet. Episode 3. Um, kill Abel. Oh, wait. Leave him to turn? Okay. Wait, what's that? Of hitting the wind chime and... Oh, wait, no. Uh, believing that there's more to walkers, I guess. Biting her ear off or letting her cut uh, Lewis's finger off and killing Lily and not kill... Is that... Is that... Is that James? Would James have died in that situation if I didn't kill Lily, then James dies? Gee, I wonder who kills him! Okay. Slightly feel better about keeping James around, even if he hates us in the end. Lily would have killed James! Are you serious? If I was from the future, if I had the ability to go back in the past, I would have, like, made him watch this Let's Play and all the other Let's Plays and see what happens if you don't kill Lily. You're alive because of us, but he might be dead now. <sighs> Whatever. Episode 4. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait. Wait. Hold, hold on. Uh, trusting AJ or not trusting AJ? There were- Oh! I thought it was gonna be Minerva. 10 and Lewis but no that's Violet in that situation so if we rom romanced Violet then she would be with us and she could die here instead of Lewis but yeah Lewis would have died if it was either Lewis or Tennessee who do you save the child or your love interest oh my god that's horrible but like it wasn't even our choice it was because AJ stepped in why is that the only choice for Clem is it like just the axe being there maybe would the axe icon not be there if we told her told him to leave us I don't know kilt okay wait I was confused for a second because I was like wait ten could survive this but no only if uh, Lewis or Violet died in his place kill ten leave zombie ten and then I guess, like, we could have made amends with him in the end, or not. That's it, though. That is the final episode of the final season of The Walking Dead. What do I say? What do I say? Was it everything I'd hoped for? Honestly, I had more problems with the final episode than any other. Kind of like with Life is Strange, I thought the first four episodes were perfect, but the last one was a bit iffy. This one wasn't super iffy. I feel like it was kind of short, kind of lacking in choices. My biggest complaint is with... 10 and with James. I don't like that James snapped like that. I would have been fine with like him leaving us or whatever, but him trying to beat up Clem and take AJ with him so he could raise him, thinking that would work? No, that's not happening. I just, it didn't seem like him at all. And I wish he was with us and like he could help us raise him to be better than that. In that moment, he saw him in. But that wasn't an option, unfortunately. And then with Ten, like, I don't know, I just liked this group so much for being so level-headed. And, and, like, the fact that I told Ten early on that Minnie got shot, it was too late for her, and he seemed content with that, but he was still gonna go and be with her. Maybe that would have changed if, like, he saw her earlier on, but that was the first time they reunited right then and there. That stinks. So I'm just like sort of upset about that. And the fact that the only way we could save Tennessee is if Violet or Lewis dies in his place. I hate that. I don't know what else to say. It's... It's over. 
The Walking Dead is finished. Like I said, it's not like Rakuen or um, just like a singular experience of a game, like kind of like with Knights, even though that has two games in it, but or Chibi Robo, well that has more games in it, but they're all garbage. I'm trying to think of better examples, there's like games where there's just one of them. There's not, it's not a franchise, it's not a sequel or whatever. It's not like one of those one-off things. Even though they're incredible, you're sort of content with the journey, and even though you'd love to do it again, it ends on a note that you're happy with, and you're happy that you got to experience that, but The Walking Dead it is a franchise, and it's over. It's actually over. I'm... I feel like this is how I'm gonna feel if I ever live to see the end of One Piece, or maybe the end of Pokemon, like... I have no idea. It's insane, it's actually over. I was on this journey for... Who knows how long it's been. Uh, at least seven years. I didn't get into this franchise as soon as season one. I got into it like around the... When season two finished. That's when I got into the series. I think. But... All of the games are on YouTube on my Let's Play channel and part of my Let's Play journey. And I feel very grateful for that. That I was able to see the end of it, because like I said before, I don't plan on Let's Playing forever, and it was a genuine concern of mine if I would retire from Let's Playing before The Walking Dead concluded. And there's some other franchises that I am still have that concern about, like to the moon that's a franchise now because finding paradise is a thing and it's still not done yet um there's also life is strange which i'm a bit iffy on i'm not sure if i even want to let's play life is strange 2 i'm content with how the first game was the before the storm was not what i was expecting in all the wrong ways unfortunately maybe the second one is different maybe if the reception is good, I'll go into it. I'm not sure. But for The Walking Dead, I was never expecting to get into this franchise. This is not like me in the slightest. Of course it's not the gameplay or the setting that makes me love it. It's the concept of choice making and this wonderful little girl who was at the center of it all that sold the franchise for me and for everyone I feel like and I'm so grateful that I got to be part of this journey with her and that she's alive in the end both of them are we did it I know this is a very weird franchise to be seen on my channel, it's hit or miss for a lot of people. It means a lot to me, and I hope it means a lot to whoever decides to watch this, or whoever plays it for yourself. It's something that should be experienced by everyone. And I could say without hesitation that this final season was the best the franchise has ever been. So now, now that it's all over, it's time to put this story to rest, but keep moving forward with many more stories in many different worlds. Thank you all so much for watching my Let's Play of The Walking Dead Season 4, The Final Season. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see all of you next Let's Play. Sweet dreams, sweet peas.